Well, Fox 2 was the first to share a very strange, very sad story with you this morning. It's the story of a cross-country road trip, a dead passenger, and some questionable decisions. Our own Roop Raj joins us live with the details. Roop. Yeah, it's a story that we've been breaking on Twitter all morning long and a sad story as you say at that we're talking about a 62 year old Clinton Township man that had an on and on relationship with a 31 year old woman out in Arizona. He went to go pick her up to bring her back, but she was dead along the way. We have a male on the phone that has driven from Arizona and he I, it sounds like he has a deceased body in it or obviously a deceased female in his car. That's the police call after a 62 year old Clinton Township man went to Arizona to pick up a woman who he had a relationship with. He drove this van to Arizona on June 1st to pick her up from a mental health facility. Soon after she asked to stop at a rest area in Flagstaff. That's the last place she's known to be alive. There are some indications that there might have been uh, some drug usage. Um, she gets back in the van. Looks like she died quickly, uh, almost immediately after they left that gas station. She was dead in this van for 26 hours. The mental health facility in Arizona called the 62 year old Clinton Township man on the trip to ask that the woman get into a similar facility when they reached Michigan. He told them she was dead. That was in Oklahoma. He propped her up, leaving sunglasses on her face while he drove all the way to Michigan. He Googled looking for information on what to do with a deceased body. He wanted to get back to Michigan. Uh, he was convinced by what he read on that site that it was okay. He had 48 hours before there was, she needed to be tended to in any way. The 62 year old didn't want to stop because he knew he would have to give the van up. He indicated he just wanted to come home to Michigan. So he kept driving to a family member's house on Blackett Street in Warren. Drives to Macomb County. There's some contact back and forth with him. Uh, he decides to pull into his son's uh, house on Blackett Street in Warren, and that's where the police get there. They find his 92 year old mother uh, in a wheelchair in the back of the van and the deceased uh, sitting in the passenger seat uh, with still with her seatbelt on and a pair of sunglasses. You know, in the sad part too, of course, with the 92 year old mother that was in the back inside of a wheelchair in this van, uh, she was unable to use the bathroom for the entire trip. And so obviously there were some real medical concerns for her when she got out of that van, this 92 year old woman. No air conditioning in this truck. 26 hours with a corpse in the front seat. Just a sad and a bizarre story. And at this point, Warren police are trying to figure out whether or not uh, they're going to be recommending charges. Of course, the prosecutor's office here in Macomb County will be in charge of determining that. Reporting live in front of the Warren police headquarters, Roop Raj, Fox 2 News. All right, Roop, so um, I know the officer there talked about a possibility of drug use. Was there a, an incidence of drug use with the man who was driving this, this, this van? Well, it actually appears as though perhaps it was the woman who may may have had somewhat of a history when it came to some kind of pills, because at some point we understand at that gas station at that rest area, it's possible and investigators are looking at whether or not an empty pill bottle of Oxycontin, I believe they they think it is, uh, was found empty and it had just been filled a few days beforehand. So they're really looking at that pill bottle, trying to figure out. And of course, toxicology results will indicate whether or not that was present in her body, but they're trying to figure out whether or not that was indeed what ended up making her die. And then, of course, her body driven across the country. Thank you. All right, Roop Raj reporting live. Thank you, Roop.